waving in the current like grass in a breeze, a field of seagrass might appear almost lifeless. But look again. You never know who you might meet in a eelgrass meadow. They are havens where eggs can safely hatch. They're nurseries for young fish, foraging grounds for sea stars or leaf slugs, refuge from predators. Rooted in soft and sandy seafloors, eelgrass meadows are vital to animals that live both below and above the ocean surface. Our native eelgrass, Zostera marina, grows in the intertidal and subtidal waters of sheltered bays and lagoons. Marine life here is rich and varied, and the tide pools are spawning waters for fish like the plain fin midshipman, easy prey for eagles that nest nearby. Although eelgrass beds in the Salish Sea are reasonably healthy, the effects of human activities are always a concern. Eelgrass reduces shoreline erosion. It stabilizes sediments and plays an important part in recycling nutrients. Docks, breakwaters and other developments can upset these natural processes. Since 2004, Parks Canada has been monitoring a dozen eelgrass meadows in and around Gulf Islands National Park Reserve. Eelgrass thrives best in clear water with low nutrient levels. Excess nutrients and increasing suspended sediments can reduce the amount of light needed for plant growth. Upland development, pollution, even anchoring boats can be harmful. In Washington, eelgrass meadows have been vanishing in Puget Sound. Here in Canada, some damaged beds have been restored through transplants. Productivity of fish and invertebrates that rely on eelgrass meadows fluctuates year to year. Ongoing research gives a long-term view of eelgrass health in the Salish Sea. There is still a lot to learn. But if you think seagrass is lifeless, take another look. <laughs>